A household name. Why wasn't they supposed to post my stuff? Why I was would going Dallas, viral. Why would Dallas post your shit? You need everybody else to post it. We know about they know about your shit in Dallas. You niggas need to stop thinking so fucking small. You said you talk. You got fifty cents. Yeah, you got fifty cents. Everybody posting. You talking about why but Dallas? I, I care about what the city thinks. They supposed to embrace no, most of. No, your shit is really bigger than the city because now you be expanding yourself. Besides T, make sure you check for me on Boss Talk One on One. Carlos Miller. The boss. So it's all the right. I come on Boss Talk. Talk to your boy, Sucker Shock, live in the building, man. Make sure y'all check out my interview on Boss Talk 101. Salute. Oh, what's up? Make sure you check out my interview on Boss Talk 101. What's up? This is Faze on Love. You're listening to Boss Talk. That you watching Boss Talk. Yo, what's up? This is Trill OG, repping UGK for life, co owner of Trill Burgers, baby. You don't want to miss my episode with Boss Talk, baby. It's a big one, you know what I'm saying? You go out and do interviews, something like this, so sometimes the city forget about it because sometimes the city like the drama, messy shit. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Have their own perspective on stuff. Man, I've been around for a long time, so I know the real. So what's the difference between your perspective and the real? What's the uh, difference? Uh, Sometimes people's perspective is only, they only have their own perspective for um, their own achievement and, and their own goals. So put it like this. So sometimes some people real, you can switch it up to be the best fit for your life. You know mm. what I'm saying? So you're telling me when you say the real, it's just not like anything that's going to be beneficial to you. No, just like this. Um... Sometimes the people that I love, it's like the girls I love, my baby mamas, I'm a narcissist. And my real is the best fits for me. Mm-hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's like, you know, some people real, as people just sit down and ask the bloggers why they're not playing their shit or why they're not uh, getting no views no more or if the bloggers pick size or anything like that. You're only... You're only coming from your real perspective to help your career. Well, I do. Okay. <laughs> I, 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 I and that's more, what I you mean, do. Huh? And that's what no, you do. No, 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 no. That's not what you do. So it, you don't help your own career no, when you talk in your real. This is in my personal life. That's what you do in your personal, personal life. Yeah, but yeah. On your, in music life, I already, I'm already successful. I'm good, good from down in my real life. So this is the real. So you already where you want to be in your yeah, career? Yeah, man, I've got. You don't need to go no high. I, I don't need. I don't want to. I got a house with kids. I got. I got toddlers running around there. In the next five years, I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have three. I'm gonna have three boys on the same football team, and a little girl is a trillion. Man, it's a beautiful life. I got a twelve year. I got twelve year old girl, little girl right now that live with me. Mama let me live with me. My uh, my oldest daughter, and she was a starting point guard at her school. Give a damn about this music shit. Do you go to all her games? Every game. If I'm out of town, the only time I missed the game was, was the Grammys weekend. Mm. I missed the game. And I sit there and FaceTime. I sit there and FaceTime my mama the whole time watch the game in my hotel room. Yeah, that's excitement to me. So people be like, man, you ain't, I don't want to break no other artists where I got to do that shit all over again. But all these kids that you have is different baby mamas. I got, I got three different baby mamas. How you deal with that? Man, it's getting harder, though. Cause I gotta watch. Are you still with the, all these three different baby mamas? Nah, really, I'm only really oh, with one. One I'm really close to. Only one. Yeah. You're, so you're in a relationship with that one. Yeah, yeah, that's like yeah. But the other ones, you dad. just. I mean, co-parenting. Yeah, yeah. And they don't want you back. Nah, yeah, nah. They know my ways. I can't change my ways, Bumpy Jones. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just checking. Yeah, I can't change my oh, legs. Just, listen, I, listen, and listen, I, and I learned through this situation because I never had to deal with that because my first baby mama, she uh, she, she knew Brandy. Mm -hmm. She knew Brandy without everything. You know what I'm saying? And so, but then, uh, they're like, one of my baby mamas, she, she... Why would you leave that one, though? The one we that... We were never together, though, but that was the best thing, though. She wasn't never together. But, uh, uh, um, one of my baby mamas, she, uh, had a nerve act like she talking to a, a a drug dealer. You hear me? And then I learned when, when my kids involved, it ain't no limits to it. And so a drug dealer around my kids, I woke up the other morning and called the feds. The, 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 federal, the federal detective gave him his name and called CPS on that hoe. Mm-mm. What? But you can't prove that she endangered a child? It was around a drug dealer. What, 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 what if he don't want? Did to you have proof yeah. to get off of them that he's a drug dealer? Yeah. What, what, what if he went to California and switched out a pack and and, and have some California niggas looking for him? And they see my my baby or my kids and shoot the house up. 
Nah, I don't play them games. Listen, I'm letting y'all niggas know right now. You, man, if you obey my mama, you better go get your lawyer, football player, an athlete, uh, uh, I don't, a dentist, uh, 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 a workout nigga, and, and they, they work niggas out or something like that. But you ain't finna have no drug dealers around my kids. Then we gotta drop the. Some of these fathers gotta. Some of these fathers gotta keep these women, uh, uh, up to par. And they gotta keep them accountable of what they doing. See, some of these daddies, when some of these daddies be so caught up in their own life, they forget what's happening at the kids' houses. Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And so that's how a person, a person growing up, a person have took advantage of these little girls because their daddy wasn't present. And they know what was going on in their houses. Mm -hmm. And that's not gonna be me. Let me ask you this, man. And this kind of got something to do with what you're saying now. When you co-parenting and yeah. you're going through stuff, man. Right now, P Diddy, uh, they got him, but his. Uh, you know, uh, he been hanging out with 50 Cent's old lady, so it's uh -huh. a lot going on where 50 is now saying she's an unfit mama because she, you know, got caught in some sex stuff with P. Diddy. Yeah, that's, that's You know what yeah. I mean? Uh, he's upset with Diddy about that and her, and he wants custody of his son. Do you think he should get custody? Yeah. Man, I'm that girl up. I, I, but that ain't no drug dealer. Man, that's at their party and, and doing, being around drugs and all kind of shit. Yes. No, man, we got, you got to break the, bro, you see the generation of these new kids? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? The generation we came up, they was doing the Tussie roll, and it was good. You know what I'm saying? You can watch you you can watch Soul Train. You know what I'm saying? On Saturday night, watch Apollo Saturday. But what's going on right now? No, you got to protect these kids at all costs. Cause that's why these young boys running around here for 13, 14 year old with switches and and doing this, doing that. Nah, man, I'm gonna stand for some. So some people get mad. At, some people get mad at me for what I got going on. How I stand? I'm all around stand for everything. My wow. mind clear now. I want to. I, I really want to. You know. I, I really want to dive into that because you know. You. You know. I think I get a lot of flag from you coming on my show, man. Uh -huh. Because you know. I went. I don't know if you've seen it, but my show Breakfast Club talked about Boss Talk One Hundred and One. Did you see that? Uh -huh. <laughs> Columbus Short uh, recently did an interview with Boss Talk One Hundred and One podcast, and he had a couple things to say about. Um, did and then did you see that Fifty Cent posted Boss Talk uh -huh. One Hundred and One? And, and and I don't really know who all be getting this kind of traffic. I don't know what other bloggers, I don't know what other interviewers get. But do you realize, and I told Sean Cotton the same thing, nobody in Dallas posted my stuff. Yeah, but Dallas, Miami, academics, they, the shade but room, they everybody. They won't post, post you. Dallas is blog city. It's it's, it's 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 blog land. Like three say gang land is blog land. We got t we got eight different blogs bloggers that you could make yourself a worldwide icon, a household name. Why wasn't they supposed to post my stuff? Why was going Dallas, viral. Why would Dallas post your shit? You need everybody else to post it. We know about they know about your shit in Dallas. You niggas need to stop thinking so fucking small. You <laughs> see, you talk. You got fifty cents. Yeah, you got fifty cents. Everybody posting. You talking about why but Dallas? I, I care about what the city thinks. They supposed to embrace no, most talk. No, your shit is really bigger than the city because now you be expanding yourself where you go out and do interviews, something like this. So sometimes the city forget about it because sometimes the city like the drama, messy shit. And so sometimes you you outgrew the drama and the messy shit. You understand what I'm saying? So so y'all bloggers, loud bloggers, even real life street stars, they. I grew it because I, they did Mark Cuban and now signed a big they did, dude. I and, you that. and now you up here talking about why Dallas Globe ain't post you, <laughs> nigga. You been, I did not say Dallas Globe. <laughs> so you full of shit. Well, if he would have posted, you would have said that. That was my boy. Yeah, I, yeah, I, 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 he, ain't, I ain't talked to him. I'm gonna call him yeah, and ask him now that you said yeah, that. If he would have posted, if Terry would have posted it, he you would have said, yeah, Terry posted my shit. The only person posted my shit. That's my boy. Yeah, you mad because Bz TV key talk I don't know them. All them negative Sean. Why you didn't post a nigga negative Sean? I didn't. I don't. I never know them. Yeah. So at the end because it was. Wasn't negative exactly so but so, so they weren't negative so they're not gonna post it the city is not gonna post it unless you're negative damn are you serious man i put that on my own everything you, you can't you know i'm gonna tell you something else man thank you people don't realize it man but you 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 helped me to get a little snoop mom in the shade room and everybody again they start going uh -huh. it went everywhere this stuff went everywhere no your academics he killed this, that old this man is your problem is you too cheap <laughs> You hear this nigga, man? You cheap. Why am I cheap? You cheap because I told you you would have helped me after the, I did the show with Lil B and, da and Dallas and Lee when we brought Fredo Bangs out here. And I said, I said, I, I got Teal. And I said, I got Fredo Bangs. You, you wasn't doing it unless you, you know got why? Free. Why? 
Because I don't want fake relationships, right? But did it right? I don't want no nigga around me that I got to pay him to sit in that seat if he really don't want to sit in that seat. No, you pay him to get what's in his head. But so you, this is a business, nigga. I don't know. I gotta get better with that. Yeah, right? you know what I'm saying? Because I really, I turn down a lot of people because I don't want the, I want organic people sitting in that seat. Yeah, I understand that. So, so like, if I don't have a real relationship with you, I'm old, right? I don't be wanting them niggas just sitting in front of me. Man, you, you, you older, you older than 80, 80, 80. <laughs> Thugs you is know what goofy. I'm talking about. I don't want them I niggas. Guess, you don't want you don't want to waste your time, do you? I, yeah, yeah. I'm not like the niggas uh with the uh everybody can't get in. Everybody can <laughs> if I had a platform, everybody can get in. Yeah, until you learn about the algorithms and all of that, then you're gonna be like, nah, everybody can't get in. <laughs> <laughs> everybody can't get in. No, but I think like I said, I just know that you bring a lot more to the table for a lot of different people than what they are. Are willing to admit, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I can't say that dealing with you from my truth, you know what yeah. I'm saying? So I appreciate you. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.